Lions right now out of the mix. This is Donovan Brazier of the United States. With a half lap remaining at the 2019 Diamond League 800 meter championships, you might be thinking, there is no way he can win this race. Do you think he has a chance? Let's take a look. At just two laps around the track, the 800 meter seems relatively easy, but many runners find themselves in excruciating pain over the final 200 meters. Why? Because they ran their first 600 meters way too fast. The runner in the lead here is Nigel Amos of Botswana. At 25 years old, Amos is the fourth fastest 800 meter runner in history with a personal best of one minute and 41.73 seconds. As you can clearly see, he likes to go up front and push the pace. After the first 200 meters, Amos led Brazier by a full 1.6 seconds. At the 400 meter mark, Amos split a time of 48.3 seconds, which now put him a full 2.4 seconds ahead of Donovan Brazier, who split a time of 50.7 seconds. At this point in the race, it was difficult to even see both Donovan Brazier and Clayton Murphy, who were running together about 10 meters behind the leaders. With 200 meters to run, Brazier started catching other runners, but catching Amos up front seemed impossible. Coming down the home stretch, Amos slowed down a significant amount, and while he was slowing down, Brazier was absolutely crushing the closing 100 meters. With a final 100 meters of 12.7 seconds, Brazier made up a full 2.3 seconds against Nigel Amos, who closed the last 100 meters in 15.0 seconds. With a finishing time of 1 minute and 42.7 seconds, Brazier became the second fastest 800 meter runner in American history, and he claimed the first place prize of $50,000. So how exactly did Brazier execute this race so perfectly, and what can we learn from this race? This victory can be boiled down to one word, patience. If we look at the splits of both Donovan Brazier against Nigel Amos, the differences are drastic. The main difference, however, is their 400 meter splits. Amos, on one hand, had a full 6.3 second difference from his first lap to his second, whereas Brazier only had a 1.2 second difference from his first lap and his second. Historically speaking, the first lap of an 800 meters is almost always faster than the second. However, Amos's almost suicidal pace of 48.3 seconds through the first 400 meters is objectively too fast to maintain. The only American to ever run faster than Donovan Brazier is now Johnny Gray, who ran a 1 minute and 42.6 second 800 meters back in August of 1985. Now the question remains, how will Donovan Brazier compete in this year's World Championships? Leave a comment down below and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe for more running content, and we'll see you all in the next video.